very interesting design here. Whoa! Oopsie. This would... Whoa! <laughs> Bam! Hi! Welcome back to my channel. This is a short video. This is the daily bib. Welcome back again. I've purchased this piece of junk on eBay for 3 euro. But is it really junk? We will have a look inside. Yeah, here's something missing. There's a lot of dust and dirt on this old equipment. The knobs are broken and missing. The connectors are rusty. Another missing knob, another missing knob. Missing handles, missing screws all around the place. The faceplate is deformed. Yeah, this is a nightmare. But what's inside? We will see right now. <laughs> okay, the transformer is very, very rusty. There's a DC coil, which is, yeah, not too bad. Old caps, a very, very old transistor. I think this is a germanium transistor. Oh my goodness. This is a nightmare. There was an instrument which is uh, missing now. This tube here has a leakage. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Oh. Well. All right. Oh, the second knob. Wow. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So, three or three euro for a piece of chunk. You are kidding me. No way. There is no way. Here is a Volvo E88CC. I think it's Volvo. From the writing on the top. Wow, this is a nice shielding. Uh, I think the manufacturer of this is Schurter or Schurtner or Schurtner, something like this. You have to be kidding me. There is no way we have a red label Volvo E88 CC in fair condition oh well it's not too good but hey <laughs> that's that's rather unusual you won't expect to find this in a three euro item on ebay so i will pull out the other tubes and we will see uh, what else is inside here also, I really like the transformer. 
I think this can be cleaned and maybe a little paint. This should work again. We have a nice DC power supply for anode voltage. No, oh, come on. It's extremely cold here. That's a pain. Anyway, here is the Volvo E88 CC you have seen before, an E280F uh, from uh, apparently Volvo. It has a Telefunken label, but clearly uh, this is a Volvo design, I guess. Anyway, it is pinched waist because uh, the glass body here is a little uh, smaller here. Whoa! Oopsie. An EF805S, uh, which has a gas inside. An E810F. Uh, this is a very interesting tube. It is not uh, really expensive, but it is uh, rather rare in terms of, uh, yeah, there's no use for it today. And ECC88, uh, that's unusual in this, uh, in such test equipment. A wonderful Telefunken E88CC. And you can tell that this one is original. It has uh, the Telefunken diamond in the bottom. And clearly this is uh, Telefunken. It even has the Ulm code and everything. Another red label E88CC. Another one and another one. And another uh, Buggle Boy Amperex ECC88. And an EF800, which is uh, what I believe the long life version of the EF80. And yeah, a lot of uh, shieldings. They are made out of brass, black anodized, and with this uh, wonderful spring inside. Yeah, wow. Do you want to see one of the modules inside? Okay. Hmm. This is a weird connector. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we will have a look inside of uh, this module and this one. Because, yeah, it's a daily bib. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, I'm afraid. And I don't have uh, much more time, unfortunately. I have a lot of trouble with this mess here. And yeah, but you can support me on Patreon. This would, whoa, <laughs> this would really help. Oh, this is a tiny screw. Hmm. This is a weird interconnection because basically this is a noval type uh, socket. And, uh, with uh, 
the female connection, which is also matching a standard tube, Noval type tube. So you can put this in here, I guess. Yes, this works. So with this cable, you can build your own uh, adapters for uh, Noval socket tubes or a measurement adapter. This is interesting. They are made by Pre Germany. And I think I've sold some of them like 10 years ago. I really got a lot of money for these. Uh, also, I haven't seen them again anywhere else. Hmm, interesting. So, I guess if I remove the four, four screws here, I can pull out the complete module. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I can tell you this Facebook. Yeah. Sometimes it sucks. But there are also some very nice contacts, like some friends of mine, and of course uh, Fab and some others. Come on! Come on! Why do you suck? Wait a minute. Wow, this is so rusty. Yeah! Oh! oh come on! Oh, ah. Why? I mean, you have the interconnection here. Oh. Well. Great, Max. Fantastic. Oh, well. Bam! <laughs> there we go. We have some kind of point-to-point -point wiring. But of course, this is, uh, yeah, I think it is called Bertinax. Yeah, not much in here. We have old Eroid capacitors, which are most likely faulty. Hmm. Rosenthal. Yes. Siemens and Halske electrolytic capacitor. And yeah, very interesting design. We have uh, shieldings. So uh, three uh, stages for the signal. Interesting construction. Yeah, I like this kind of stuff. Woohoo! Can I do something with this? Maybe uh, a housing for a tube amplifier, uh, for the tubes themselves, maybe. Well, here is another module, which I'm going to show you. And this is a very early uh, PCB. That's interesting. Lots and lots of rotten parts, old germanium diodes, um, yeah, nice, interesting stuff, and very interesting RF connectors. Yeah, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. See you again soon. Bye!